Fairphone available now. 2014 has seen some interesting niche products that have a different appeal from those offerings from mainstream manufacturers. The Fairphone is different because instead of leading on technical features or price, it applies different ethical standards to its manufacturing process. Mobile phones are immensely complicated devices with parts that come from all over the world. Sometimes the source of those components may be questionable, especially when it comes to rare minerals from conflict regions. So one aim of Fairphone is to ensure, as much as possible, that all components are ethically sourced. All the sources are published on the website, which apart from anything else gives an idea as to how many different companies are involved in creating a product like this. Fairphone is also concerned that people who manufacture the device and its components are paid fairly and work in safe conditions, and it also aims to make the Fairphone easily repairable and recyclable in order to make it last longer and be less likely to end up in landfill. They don't claim that the device is fully fair, as the complicated supply chain makes checking every single step incredibly difficult, but also the definition of what might be fair varies from person to person. Fairphone do publish a complete list of what makes them different on their website. The first unit started to ship in 2013 with a couple of quite limited runs of 30,000 handsets. 2014 has uh, seen this ramped up with 35,000 ships so far and another batch of 35,000 on offer. The handset itself costs €310 Euro to order online from fairphone.com and there are a few local retailers such as the phone.coop in the UK. So what exactly do you get for your money? The current model of Fairphone is actually pretty modestly specified with a 4.3 inch 540 by 960 pixel display, 1.2 gigahertz quad core CPU, 1 gigabyte of RAM with 16 gigabytes of onboard storage plus a micro SD slot, an 8 megapixel primary camera with a 1.3 megapixel secondary one plus dual SIM support as standard, 1 3G and the other 2G. The Fairphone doesn't support NFC or LTE and the operating system is only Android 4.2 but it does include all the usual Android smartphone features and also some unique software enhancements designed especially for the device. You can get more powerful devices for the same sort of money, for example the OnePlus One, but the Fairphone is made for people with different priorities. As we write, this limited release of handsets is just about to run out, but given the relative success of this unusual device, we would expect to see more available soon.